Alright, so I realized that I've never shown a video of me disassembling or servicing the cells. That is different about in from the two chambers and it goes down into this chamber, it goes into the top. And then it goes from here, loops back around into the bottom of the second one. And then it goes through the scrubber material, which is basically, I call them loofahs, I don't know what the hell most people call them. But either way, it goes from there out to the second, the second bubbler, which is up front. But this is all about servicing the cells. I've had these in my car for several months now, and they've not received any maintenance whatsoever. So... I want to see how low they are. This is cell number two. It's been run all the way up to 25 and usually steady at around 15 amperes. So hopefully I don't rip the gasket because I don't have a spare. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, I've never shown the inside of the cells. Uh, this is a positive, comes over from here. You getting that, Joey? Mm -hmm. And you can trace it down around. Actually, let's keep the uh, potassium hydroxide off of the car, huh? Uh, it goes through the shunt. This is just so that I can tell how many amps I'm, go I'm pulling. And then goes in, goes into the center of the cells, and then the outside cells go over to this post, and they have a strap connecting the two. Goes out and back. This is where I have the second driver. Here's where the first is. Pretty straightforward stuff, right? Um, yeah, other than that, topping it off, I also wanted to show the cells in action, which I'm going to do shortly in another video. Jill or night?